Today is National Wear Red Day for women, of course, focusing on cardiovascular health. We do this every single year, but it is the number one killer in women. And so it's so important that we talk about it. I want to bring in Miss Michelle Martinez. She is a heart attack survivor and on the board for the American Heart Association. Hi, Miss Michelle. How are you? Hi, Jenny. I'm doing great. How about you today? Good. Okay. So glad you're here with us today, especially because you had a heart attack at 37 years old. Tell us your story. I did. Yeah. So my husband and I, just a week before our wedding reception, we went skiing and I came home and was getting ready for the, for the rest of the evening. And it really felt like somebody had just started standing right in the middle of my chest. And it was a weird feeling that I'd never had before. And I called him in from the garage and I was basically rolling around on the floor in pain. And I didn't want to go. I said, I was fine. Just give me a couple minutes. We'll get it together. And he basically threw me in the car and we rushed off to the hospital. And they hooked me up to an EKG and the nurse said, you're having a heart attack. And I actually thought she was kidding. And then I thought, why would the nurse kid about such a thing? And uh, they didn't know what it was. My blood pressure was fine. My weight was fine. Everything, you know, I was very young. And the cardiologist called from upstairs and said, I know what it is. It's uh, SCAD, Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection, sent her up to surgery. And I did an angiogram, and I have two stints in my heart now. And I spent about three or four days in, in the cardiac ICU. And, and you know, here I am. I'm wow. surprisingly and, and just turned 40, and, and I'm a heart attack survivor. Oh, my gosh. And it's crazy that at only 37, which is just about my age, that that can happen. And a week before your wedding reception. So let me ask you this. Is it anything to do with stress or is it completely unrelated to that at all? Yeah, in this case, it was it was unrelated. This is a really Mm -hmm. rare, what they believe to be genetic disease, and they need to do more research on it. There is just something that they don't know that much about. But what does make a difference is the health I had going into it and the health I've had going out of it. So with with rehab, They've told me, you know, you should walk every 30 minutes. And my husband and I started doing that. And that can add, mm-hmm. honestly, years to your life, just walking 30 minutes a day yep. and, and eating healthy. You know, they recommend the Mediterranean diet, something that's just a lot of vegetables and lean proteins. And we've been trying to do that. But, but truthfully, the doctor told me you came in in pretty good health. And so your heart was able to recover a lot faster. And that's not always the case. And, and I think, you know, it's really important to take care of ourselves. Well, and it's just like you said, I mean, the fact that you were already healthy leading up to it. So it's not that people should wait until they're 50 or 60 and then get healthy. We've got to get healthy now. And that's why it's so important. Happy to be with you on this day and always wearing our red together. If they do want more information, where can they go? Go to heart.org. Utah has their own chapter that you can look for, but it's a national uh, campaign, of course. And we're looking forward to everyone wearing red to spread the word and to advocate for yourself, take care of your health. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Michelle, it's been great to get to know you today and so glad you're here with us to share your story. Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate the time.